All right. It looks like I am on. Sorry about the darkness and stuff. Uh, it's been raining all day. Today is May 1st, 2022. It is 1013 here in Santa Domingo, um, Dominican Republic. So uh, <clears throat> a lot on my mind. I just got done doing the Dimitri K show. Don't want to take too much of you guys' time. Had a very, very relaxing trip, doing really, really well. A lot of surprises jumped out at me on this trip and basically ruined my trip. But you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Hey, before I forget, you guys want to know a great page to uh, keep up with what's going on with Moreno Valley. Go to Moreno Valley first and uh, Fred Buenos. Hope I'm saying that right. Fred Buenos is the uh, moderator on that page. That is an awesome page to go to. Matter of fact, let, let me just make sure I'm looking at it right so I can say this thing all right. I think it's Moreno Valley first. Yeah, Moreno Valley first and Fred uh, Banuelos. Banuelos, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, as the moderator of that page, a uh, lot of great information. Fred is out there doing um, a lot of the groundwork to keep you, you know, what I like about his page is it's very positive. It's a very positive page and it, it's a different perspective but it's a newer perspective because a lot of us older guys, you know, we're kind of tainted in how we see things and stuff. And I think it's great that we have all of these different groups. So if you're not a member of a group uh, of a page on Facebook, that is a great uh, group to join if you haven't joined it yet. So please like, subscribe and join that page. Um, and like I've always said in a lot of my channels, what are we gonna do if nobody else picks up the mantle to keep people informed. So people like Fred and, you know, um, you know, Fred, he goes to the council meetings. He lets you know what's going on. Great resource. I got to get back into that when I'm doing that. But as you guys know, I'm also dealing with a health challenge. So that kind of slowed me down a, a lot. And, uh, but you know, I, I, I do the best I can. So what I want to talk about real quick is I want to remind you guys that I do have that court date at 8, 8 a.m. Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. That would be the 4th of May, 8 a.m. Wednesday morning, uh, Moreno Valley Courthouse. From Moreno Valley Courthouse right off of, uh, what street is that? I can't remember. I never remember what that street was. Is it Hecock? Is that Hecock Street? I'm not sure. I think it's Hecock, but on Moreno, uh, the, Moreno the, the Moreno Beach Court where they do the traffic tickets and stuff. Hopefully, we can settle this thing before it goes to trial. If not, you know, we'll do what we got to do. And if those of you guys that can come out and be witnesses and just basically say what it is that you saw or what you think needs to be added to the case, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you could make it and you're not busy that day. But <clears throat> moving on real quick, I'm in the Dominican Republic. I don't know if how many of you guys have been keeping up on the news. It just made major news two or three, de two or three days ago. Um, another American girl has died due to a botched Brazilian butt lift here in the Dominican Republic. Her mother is down here trying to retrieve the body. And this young mother, I believe she was no more than 25, maybe 27. Uh, she died during the procedure. She was getting a butt lift, tummy tuck uh, butt lift. In December or late November, she recently had a gastric bypass surgery in Mexico. And, you know, they say you should give at least six months between major trauma events for your body to recover fairly, fairly well. But as we know, any surgery is dangerous. And this woman leaves behind minor children. She was a twin. She leaves behind minor children. My question is this. When young women do this, what do you gain besides more attention? What do you gain? Is this Brazilian butt lift going to get you a quality husband? Is it going to... Uh, you know, maybe monetize yourself if you're getting into the OnlyFans thing, you know, which uh, 
somebody told me that, you know, maybe that's what they were trying to do to get in the OnlyFans. But see, that doesn't make sense to me. And I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying, if you don't have the work ethic to work out, to lose weight and do what you got to do naturally, do you know how hard it is to do, let's say you're doing OnlyFans and have to constantly create new content every day. Ask anybody that does blogging and um, is an influencer on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. It is hard to put out new content every day. This becomes like a full-time job because you got to put out stories and things that are going to be interesting to the public. That's why you don't see really me putting out stuff all the time anymore, unless it's like something that you guys really need to know. <clears throat> but I'm going to get back into that because what I'm going to start doing is at least once a week, do a, uh, a summary of what happened in the Inland Empire that I think that you guys might be interested in and uh, remind you guys to do that. But <clears throat> don't sit there and tell me that this woman lost her life because she wanted additional attention or she was going to do, you know, all this great content and stuff. Maybe she was. I don't know. I'm not judging. But all I do know is a young person lost their life. And I can tell you this as, as a military person and as a father, if you won't even do the simple work of, uh, and I know gastric bypass in, in a lot of situations is a medical procedure that needs to be done for some people because, you know, there's uh, anatomy and stuff like that. That's one thing. But even when you do the gastric bypass, you still got to work out because you you're going to lose all that weight and extra skin and stuff. You got to be disciplined to do that. So if the person isn't even disciplined to do that, I mean, you could lose weight and still get a nice butt if you do squats at the gym. I mean, she could have paid a personal trainer for what she paid, you know, to get a surgery done over a period of time and probably would have gotten just as good of results. So I'm a little concerned, and especially when it comes to uh, these young females, and it isn't a black thing, it isn't a Hispanic thing, it isn't, this is just young people in general, young women in general. Um, surgery is no joke, and there's no guarantee that what worked for her is going to work for you. And I believe, and this is what I want to recommend to the young ladies out there, if you have children, please consider your children. If you have minor children, please consider them in the decision you make to take these surgeries. Because if you don't make it out, what happens to them? Do you have insurance on yourself so that they can bury you? Do you have insurance enough that financially the child won't be impacted? Or do you guys understand what I'm saying? I personally don't think it's worth it to uh, go through these procedures like this. I'm not judging anybody that decides if they want to do that. It's your body. It's your right. As a father, all I'm saying is any surgery I would do would have to be like a mandatory surgery, not a um, optional surgery or something that is optional. Um, because I have children. I, I need to stay here and raise. That's just my decision. But these things are no joke. Please think about it. Talk to people. Talk to your parents. Talk to your loved ones. It just doesn't make any sense that these young women are being killed because they are, I don't know, um, you know, they, they're not satisfied with the way they look. And everybody has a right to alter their appearance and stuff, and which is Great thing. I'm thinking about the children. That's what I'm thinking about. You you can do whatever you like to do. I just don't think it's worth it. I would rather be here 300 pounds overweight and be here as long as I can for my children versus taking a risk and losing in that risk. So yeah, I'll be home soon, you guys. I just wanted to drop that little gym there. Um, it's going to get interesting. When I get back, I'm going to be doing a whole synopsis. I will be meeting with another lawyer about another case that I'm involved in, and I will inform you guys about that as soon as possible. When you do this kind of stuff, people are going to sue you for 
whatever reasons, but regardless of what people think I might have done in uh, the incident at the Edgemont Women's Club and being assaulted by Denise Fleming and LaDonna Jimson, no matter what I did, and somebody said this on one of my blogs that I should have followed the rules. Even if I didn't follow the rules, Is that person saying that I deserve to get beaten up? I deserve to be assaulted by Denise Fleming and LaDonna Jimson? Is that what they're saying? Because I didn't follow the rules? So that you're basically saying that those people had the right to put their hands on me. I'm going to have to disagree with that. Because that's what you call the police for. And you, and you let the police deal with it. That's what we pay them big money in tax dollars to do their job to uh, <clears throat> handle me. And that's what I think should have happened. Donovan, you're breaking our rule. We don't want you to record. I respectfully declined their assault. Donovan, we're going to call the police. Do what you got to do. I'm going to stay here until the police come. I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing. And that should have been the end of it. But I will never, ever sit here and say that anybody deserves to be physically assaulted because they're not following rules. I just, I, I will never cave into that, especially at a public meeting. So um, Donovan Sadiq, I'm the Inland Empire and Farmer, nationally known as a recovering Democrat. And again, I thank you guys for listening and get ready. I'm going to have a lot, of, a lot of video and pictures when I get back. I'm enjoying my time here. Uh, well, it's been ruined, but I'm making the most of it. Met a lot of really nice people. Went to a lot of historic places. As you guys know, I am in love with the Latin culture. I've always been in love with it. It is a very big group of people. And learning a lot out here. I, I'm learning a lot. And I uh, can't wait to get back home. There's nothing back home. I got a dog. I got a cat. And uh, I miss them. So I'll see you guys soon. And you guys just be safe out there. It's raining today. It just stopped. So, um, yeah. So, all right, you guys, be safe. We'll see you guys soon. Donovan Sadiq, I'm out.